So I was feeling really positive and then I've just been tidying all day and trying to get some work done. And I feel really sick and the girls bless them have made like a box for um so it does not look tidy. Um but then I've got that horrid sinking feeling again where I've been feeling really emotional because <laughs> so daft. I don't know if you get it but I crave time on my own and then when I'm on my own I get really lonely. This is how we roll on a bank holiday Sunday. We bought a new home for the Jebbles. I had some major flashbacks earlier. <laughs> not had them for a while <laughs> maybe once you're traumatized you never get over it hi everyone so i'm midway having my nails done with the lovely victoria fox who also trains people to get their nails done oh my days so yeah i was just midway that shopping haul and the morrison's man arrived with my shopping which i totally forgot about so i ran home from gym and got my house sorted because i've got my friends over what's up <laughs> we've got makeup and food so we've done our recce of YSP the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. It was quite relaxing actually without kids actually managing to walk around a bit rather than just parking and going for a picnic. Um, so that was good and now we've got another meeting. So not only am I looking after these two little bunnies but we've got to look after my friend's rabbits as well. So we're off to I'm feed some Jenna. bunny rabbits. I'm at Flamingo Land Resort in North Yorkshire and with my daughters and my little but big brother Oscar and my lovely mum. So a tidy-ish office, the result of a hard day's work. Oops, I turned you off rather than on then. So hi, it's the half term, aka school holidays here in Yorkshire, England, UK. Um, I've got to try and manage the kids, getting my work done, um, and also my mental health, which is very up and very down. Um, yesterday I was feeling really good because I get excited to have my weekends with the girls. Um, and then now it's the weekend, I have had a good start to the day because I managed to get to the gym to do some weights. Um, so I was feeling really positive and then I've just been tidying all day and trying to get some work done. And I feel really sick and the girls bless them have made like a box for um, so it does not look tidy. Um, but then I've got that horrid sinking feeling again where I've been feeling really emotional. <laughs> so daft. I don't know if you get it. But I crave time on my own. And then when I'm on my own, I get really lonely. Like, really lonely. <laughs> it's so sad. Um, yeah, it's weird. Because you think you often kind of stereotype loneliness, don't you? With, like, kind of elderly people living on their own. Not a mum or a parent with kids always running around. And people coming and going. But I don't know. Maybe it's just the depression creeping back up on me. Um, but yeah, I, and I could have gone out today. I could have met friends and I just wanted to sort out the house and get my work done and not have to put on makeup or see anyone. Um, so it's a bit of a double-edged sword, um, kind of hibernating again. Anyway, this is only day one of the school holiday, so fingers crossed. The only way is up. I've had a bath, I'm going to try and sleep on it. As I always know, tomorrow is a new day. Na night. So this is how we roll on a bank holiday Sunday. We bought a new home for the Jebbles. So that monkey green cage is gone. And mama has got a nice stylish one for her office. Well, as stylish as she could find for a gerbil. It's mama. Yeah, I know, be careful. We can wash down so we can put them in there. So we can same day. So we can wash that cage. Yeah, good idea. Right, let's build it. Are we keeping that cage? Huh? We're keeping that cage. Um, yes. no, I was going to clean it and give it to charity. No! Why? Because 
We don't need an extra gerbil cage. Yeah. Or shall I put an Ariana in it? Yeah, we have an extra one gerbil there and there, one gerbil right. there and there. How do you do this? So they have a relaxing. Yes, so one so they have a spa. So, so one gerbil can mm -hmm. go in here, one gerbil can go in there, please. Okay. Well, let me just go and find the box because okay. I do not know where all these the brown pieces are. Wood go in and here. bits. Where do they go? The brown gerbil. Can't they just send hair. stuff ready made? Because Mama doesn't get all this malarkey. Right, let's get the box. So we bring hay. We just, I just found it. No, Mama. What? We didn't do it in half. No, 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 because you'll get hay everywhere. Okay, so that's the food bowl. And that's the their little house that they eat. The and then where does the wheel go? Let's look at this broken picture. Well done. But we need the other ladder as well. Wow. We yeah, no, we'll ladder. put this one in. We'll get this in first. Hurrah, champions! We haven't made it yet. I know, but we're, I'm just, the fact that it slots together is quite exciting. Um, okay, then we need a wheel there. That, 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 that. I the whole I will fit in there. Blooming egg. Oh, yeah. Oh. He, why don't people just make things and send them ready made? You, if you want to try and buy this and try this at home, I'll put an affiliate link below to buy this cage which has nearly killed me. So now let's get the gerbils in. We've got one gerbil in. Welcome to your oh, new no. home. Oh, oh God, he went flying. Go down the steps, you pickle. Right, you really get ready, gerbil. Jazz. And open that. Okay, I'll... Right, you go in there, Buster. Come here. It's sad, it's not Buster. Well, just generally Buster. Ah, oh, Buster. <laughs> Stardust uh, is fast. Quick, quick, quick. There you are, Stardust. I'm wiping my hands. Oh, thank you. Look how cute they are. What? Do you like it? Do you like your new home? <laughs> is it cool? Do you like it? They like it. You've had an upgrade. You've had an upgrade. You've they had an upgrade. Around, Mama. The, eh? the, like ball. the ball. I don't know. It's not arrived, I don't think, yet. Do you want this one? Oh, the bowl to put some food in. Yeah. Although they never keep it still, do they? We do we'll food put this in. wooden thing here. They might put food Shall we put some food in the bowl yeah. then? I have food in my hair. Okay, in put some food hair. in. Put it in here. I'm going to tie it There we are. Dada. Dada. Right, so try and eat the food from your bowl, gerbils. They always tip it because it's not like, so it's not like that. So they always tip it because it's like that. Yeah. Only, only when it's like that. Mama, what? Mama, I saw my so I saw my So I'm just getting ready for my friend um, nail tech mission to come sort out these nasties um, I'm having a major panic attack at the moment not just because the house is a mess after trying to tidy it if only that was just my worries I'm just not sure I can do all this anymore. I love the kids more than anything any mother could. But I don't think I'm strong enough to cope in this world. I had some major flashbacks earlier. <laughs> I 
not had them for a while. <laughs> Maybe once you're traumatised you never get over it. Until you die. Then finally you're at peace. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's shown their support for me, online and offline. I'm sorry I can't always be strong. I just hope I can show what it's like and that you, you know that you're not alone in this turmoil. That is your head. Peace and love and shimmies. Really? Yeah, my hands are so bad. What colour do you reckon? Uh, no. None. None? <laughs> I don't know. Oh dear. You can have okay. a look in our little thingy if you want and see what colour you like. Nails for church. <laughs> oh, good grief! Sexy but practical. Sexy but practical. <laughs> That's the brief. Hi everyone. So I'm midway having my nails done with the lovely Victoria Fox, who also trains people to get their nails done. Um, but I'm having some self-care pamper time this half term, um, and we're going to do a vlog all about feeling good. So for me, it's getting my nails done and feel good fashion. I'm not very fashionable, but I like anything that makes me feel good. And um, Victoria also has a clothing range, so watch out, because I'll be trying more of that in a bit. And Victoria's a fellow mum in business like I am, so we'll be chatting all things business, mental health, and self-care, and feel good fashion with this monkey in the background, the joys of pampering from home. Look, I'm gonna go full on blinging pink. Oh my days, so yeah, I was just midway that shopping haul and the Morrison's man arrived with my shopping, which I totally forgot about. Um, I have this thing with delivery men, nothing kinky, as kinky as it sounds, unfortunately. Um, but they always walk in when I'm doing like a shopping haul or getting changed and I totally always forget who it'll be so I turn up looking like a rate state in my undies Morrison's vegan store why have you got chips in the oven? lots of vegan yumminess fries why have you got chips in the oven? Fries. Why because uh, you're having chips for tea. What do you want? Have you seen something? Vegan! Mama, you just put them in. Okay, I proper love fries. They're my favourite. And what else did I get? What is this? Oh, this gosh stuff. Not everything's vegan because obviously I've got the kids to feed as well. Ah! Ah! Mama, why did you buy this? What did I buy? <laughs> I didn't realise it was that big. Well, Look how big. <laughs> I'm gonna look like a rated right idiot. I saw it were on offer, so I thought I'd buy a highlighter for my uh, diary to get my scent organised. Oh my days! I I I'm gonna look like. Oh, at least it'll make my hand look small. That's a huge. I should have noticed by the label huge highlighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Vegan crispy nuggets. Where's all oh, my nine bars? I love these protein bars. 
our Meridian bars. I went a bit crazy. Bamboo lunchbox reused because it was cute. And where's my favourite thing? Vegan Magnum do vegan ice cream. Get in. Anyway, back to the feel good shopping haul. Hashtag Mama Chef Goals. It's a flower into Allery. And I broke a plate. And that's Jazzy's tea. Right, balanced diet, lots of different colours. Where's your veg? Good morning, everyone. It's Monday today, Bank Holiday Monday, and today is a new day. Um, I was really poorly yesterday. Um, I really had given up. Um, but luckily, I had my nail appointment booked, so I kept to that. Um, as I hate letting people down um, and just having a bit of escapism helped a lot um, and then by the time I finished having my nails done, buying some new clothes um, I was tired so I went to bed so I feel a little less on the crisis edge of things um, but I'm still not on the edge of glory is it edge of glory? is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm still not feeling great basically but I am going to the gym because I'm booked on um, and I know hopefully getting some aggression out that will help too. So I ran home from gym and got my house sorted because I've got my friends over. What's up? <laughs> We've got makeup and food and we're having a vlogging day. And the kids are playing upstairs as it's half term. They're dressing up LOLs and Sarah's dressing up this. Look, sexy Instagram background of washing. <laughs> Ooh. Well, cat face. It's not done yet. I was saying our stuff are going to come. Welcome to the amazing show all about fun and this is So we're halfway, well, most of the way through, just getting my lips done, but I might have some grub first. We just had an escapee gerbil upstairs, so I had to run off, so hence the half lip look. Feels you like tech, food, and makeup. A show! A show first! to see some rabbits that we're going to look after with the kids. Shall we go? At least I get to take my makeup outside. Good morning everyone. Um, so I've had a good start to the day. I've been to the gym to do my boxer size, although my left hand is dead. Um, and now I'm with my business partner, Daria. As we're having an evoke day, we're doing a recce for a film we're making on the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. So check out these views. And the kids have gone to their grandparents, so work is a lot easier um, than looking after kids, for sure. These are a bit old, though. If stuff like that's still up, we'll be able to ask them what they think that means to them, which will be good. Yeah. Hi, 
Today we're at Yorkshire Sculpture Park. Oh, cool. Hey up, sheepies. So we've done our recce of YSP, the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. It was quite relaxing actually without kids, actually managing to walk around a bit rather than just parking and going for a picnic. Um, so that was good and now we've got another meeting. So it's half term and the kids are getting dropped off at Petworth for some free crafts. I had a day off yesterday by going to work. The monkeys are back. Breakfast time. Isn't that all we to have back? Oh, double breakfast, aren't you lucky? But we didn't eat breakfast. So, craft time. So you've got the boards. You've got to go up into the gallery. And it says, I think you're going to make shadow puppets out of the sculptures. Shall we have a look? <gasps> wow. Five Hepworth hand shadows. In galleries four and five. Shall we have a look? What, Mama? We need to look in galleries four and five. So I think it's through here. Um, four and five. I think this one, yeah, this is four. So look, Barbara Hepworth. It's five there. Uh, yeah, that's five there. So you need to try and find. Can you find spot the sculptures oh well you know them sculptures don't you what you're casting a shadow can you spot any hill or shell shapes in your hand so look on the floor you've got a shadow and saying oh look do that can you see on the floor it's just a little bit because it's quite sunny but have you seen those views you can see river colder and then all these cool sculptures. I forgot what they were called then. And you can, why don't you try and draw some of the sculptures? Because you're really good at drawing. Yeah, you are on these. Okay. Jasmine's grumpy and wants to go home. Oh, sorry, she's not, she's not, she's not. Anyway, whilst they're busy doing their crafts, I also, last night, I forgot to tell you, I went to the Real Junk Food Project's pop-up restaurant at their kitchen in Wakey. So, the Real Junk Food Project basically um, makes the most of surplus food by having a pay-as-you-feel supermarket and doing boxes. So, I'm definitely going to sign up for a veg box. Um, and last night they used all surplus food to create a lovely experience so check out these photos on my instagram offering on it mama mama this is a popping that one first and then that one ah cool Yeah, quick play then home, okay? Mama, can you help me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, you could have slid down it. I can do that. But you know. It. So not only am I looking after these two little bunnies, but we've got to look after my friend's rabbits as well. So we're off to I'm feed some bunny nails. rabbits. My lovely friend my is in Paris. Let's flat. go. I don't have any. Hi, Flossie. Hi, Flossie. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Carrot. Hi, oh, Flossie. Oh, Hi, Carrot. Hi, Flossie. Can we feed you? Yeah. And then Mama's oh. tired. She needs to go home and do her work and sleep. Can we take them into their little thing? Hi, Carrot. We can do that in the morning. Okay. So I've got changed into my PJs thinking that I was having an early night. Then I've got an impromptu call and visit, which is lovely, um, from my stepdad and my little brother Oscar um, to watch Britain's Got Talent. So we've been doing that tonight. So I have to get out of my PJs and back into a dress again. Um, but yeah, today, what have I been doing? We've been feeding rabbits. Oh, I turned up for my mental health nurse appointment and it wasn't this week because it's half term, so she's off. Um, I don't even know how the psychiatrist went yesterday because she was quite 
She was fine, but very abrupt and didn't give, didn't really respond to anything I was saying. Um, it was just, can you elaborate? Can you elaborate? And that was it. And then all she did was change my drugs, didn't tell me why or what. So yeah, a bit pointless. Left even more confused. Anyhow, back to Britain's Got Talent and then it's bedtime. So I'm gonna say night. Peace, love, shimmies, and see ya tomorrow. Hi everyone, so today I'm at Flamingo Land Resort in North Yorkshire and with my daughters and my little but big brother Oscar and my lovely mum. Um, but it got me thinking, especially as I had a lovely night out last night with my friends at Cape Pasta restaurant in Sheffield and had lots of giggles and gossip Mama, and then today, Mama, yeah. You can even see the driver over there. Oh wow, we're on the monorail currently. But as I had lots of giggles what? and gossip and then fun rides today, got me thinking after a rubbish appointment this week um, with a psychiatrist who I don't even know what she thought. Um, she asked me a few questions and just changed my drugs and gave more drugs and I don't know why. Um, and I just thought, well actually, why not find out about a person before prescribing something new and also what makes them tick. Um, so yeah, it'd be cool if we had more fun doctors. I know, by the way, if you are a doctor, it's a very difficult time with all the courts and administration and medication just helps to control people. Um, but I just thought, God, I had no interaction other than um, changing my drugs without knowing why or what she thought of my condition or anything whatsoever. Um, so now I've got to get even more drugs. Um, and it just feels like a never-ending story. So yeah, I'm going to try and prescribe myself fun, obviously while still taking um, some of my drugs. But yeah, I just think heck, healthcare nowadays needs to be a lot more holistic. Um, because we know how important fun is and creativity is. But I'd love to know what your thoughts are, so do comment below. And I hope you're having a lovely day, whatever you're doing. As it's half term here, we are at Flamingo Land. Um, and this is the start to a fabulous day. Say bye. 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 Anyway, peace, love, and shimmies.